It is a big, wide world out there with so much more to explore beyond just our beautiful corner of the Northeast. But what if I told you the expanded universe can be found through a drive through Highgate? Down this country road is the portal to the Outer Rim. This is a first look at a locally produced sci-fi web series that has been in the works for years. Tonight, we take you on a voyage to see how it got here before its launch. Taggers, take two. Cameras rolling as a crew of actors Increase power to maximum. gets ready for takeoff. I've been having an absolute blast. James Bray lives in Highgate and is one of the lead pilots of this project. This is the model that kind of started it all. In his family's basement is the hangar for his spaceships. This, this was more kind of a freeform construction. Each model crafted of his own design. The ribs on it come from uh, strawberry boxes. And with whatever he can find. I, I start looking at all the junk that I have lying around and I go, what kind of form could this take? And through a little TV magic, a handheld shuttle can park itself next to your Camry. They look and go, oh my God, because it looks like it's sitting right there in the parking lot. How'd you like to make some extra credits? This is the trailer for Sweepers, the first installment of a series called The Outer Rim. Imagine a future where, where the industries and corporations have taken over the government. Our first story uh, shows you uh, a mining survey vessel called the Audrey. They're called sweepers because what they do is they sweep over planets with sensors looking for rare minerals and things like that. Hey, it's been too long, Mike. And that's Captain R.J. Cage. It's, uh, it's been a ride. <laughs> Played by James Bray's wife of 29 years, Jody. Communications consoles and stuff like that. And... I'd like a cheeseburger. <laughs> Small fry. They're able to poke fun now. Look at the engines on this bad boy, okay? That's all trulicity pens. Your diabetes is paying off. That's right. It's but it's been a long road. Together, they took ideas from a Star Trek fan film they helped produce and repurposed it into something new all their own. I will not tolerate pushback from my officers. Jody's character, Captain Cage, has PTSD. You can identify with them better if they have flaws, if they're human. So it sounds like you're incorporating a lot of different social and economic and kind of Absolutely. event issues into your sci-fi series. Why did you do that? Well, that's the beautiful thing about science fiction. You can use it as a vehicle to discuss today's problems and issues. And that's what I want to do. I want to tell moral tales. So we pulled all the Star Trek out and we said, you know what? We still have a good story here. Let's build a universe around the story. And new friends agreed. Effect artists, editors, musicians, and actors from all over. At one point, we had a CGI artist from Australia helping us out. Joining the project, James Bray playing into his own past experience. I ended up getting a job in Florida working for companies that did work for uh, Disney and Universal Studios. Taking his skills from the Sunshine State to Enosburg Opera House in Vermont, offering space for Bray's hand-built sets. Many in the production team traveling to the Bray's Vermont home, staying here once a year to help shoot the series. What has that been like for you? <laughs> a lot of towels. <laughs> uh, no, it's, it, it's been a lot of fun. It's been a real bonding experience and that's important I really feel because uh, out of all of this I don't care if we make money I'm just having a good time and that's all I care about really it's fun the bonus this family says would be if a streaming service like Netflix or Hulu shows interest but for now so you're really just riding the ride for what I'm just riding the ride I mean you can't get unrealistic dreams you still have to stay grounded otherwise you crash and burn mm. And so we're looking at seeing how this goes, and if it's well-received, we'll incorporate and fire up. A labor of love. Oh, I'm so excited. Six years in the making. I couldn't be more proud of the work that they've done. It's, it's just, it's remarkable. About to take off. The Outer Rim makes its debut this Saturday at the Vermont Sci-Fi and Fantasy Expo, and I'm going to be there to moderate a Q&A with the team. So you can find us at the Champlain Valley Expo at 2 o'clock to see the pilot episode, ask questions at a panel discussion, and feel free to reach out to me over social media if you can't make it, because it will be broadcasted over Facebook Live, so you can bring your questions. And I'll bring your questions with me and answer them there. All right, and where's this series going to be after that? It's going to air on a few Vermont local access channels, uh -huh. and it will be online as well. So we'll link to their Facebook page on WCAX.com. But Very in the meantime, cool. do you want to become space captains? Uh, I mean, it's awesome. Yeah, right. <laughs> That's right great. up your yes, alley. Yes, absolutely. Totally. Very cool. Thank Galen, you, Galen. Thank you. No problem.